Hello everyone and welcome back. Um decided to do a video today um just to show you guys what I've done to this fall off. So what I went there doing is I put perches up, uh, there's 20 perches up um out in the Avery and then on the inside the full thing's washed out but what I'm gonna have to do is sweep it up again or you know get it get it get the scraper and scrape wee bits and bobs up but Nice wee, um, nice wee perches up here for the hand section really, um, this is going to be the hand section for the fantails, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to be keeping them on the V perches, um, and the reason is, is because the fantails can't tuck their tail in as well, and I don't want to end up messing up their tail feathers from pooing on each other sort of thing or pooing on each other's tails but my dad was saying what we can end up doing is maybe putting some type of wee wood like that like a wee like a wee very thin uh, bit of plywood that would hang out over a bit and then all the poo would collect on it then I would just need to come in here and scrape it off um, but yeah, that's what we were. That is what one of the things that we were thinking about doing. But I'll go ahead and show you guys fantails. Excuse the mess. I need to get that all done. Um, and I'll show you guys these here. So what I've ended up doing is putting my minerals here. They've absolutely been. They've been loving the minerals. Um, and then they're great. Uh, pink minerals, black minerals. Um, but here's all, all the birds really. So these two haven't laid me any eggs yet, which I'm a wee bit like concerned what's up with the hen. But um, they are pretty keen on laying, and then there's nothing in there. Um, Oi. Right, so this hen is in the wrong box. That's your box, love. Um, but yeah. Where's that cockroach? So that there white one at the back lost his hen to this fella. This fella took his hen. Um, she's sitting on two eggs. Um, she's not very really great at making a nest so what I'm gonna have to do probably is get some hay again and put some hay in and stuff but here's one of the cockbirds sitting on two eggs um, and that's his wee hen that he's heard to. Um, I really like that hen. She's only a wee young bird. She's only this year's young and she is a very good protective mother the cockbird not so much but it's probably for some of these birds it's probably going to be their first time ever breeding now i'm letting them breed and you might be saying that i'm stupid for doing it because the babies are going to freeze in the nest and most i'm letting them do this for experience so they already have a wee bit of experience for next year when i put them all together again because they're going to be separated out for a wee while Look at that fella showing off. Lovely bird that there. He is one of my favourite ones. That's his hen I think. Right there. Um, she does a wee bit of that dance as well. Um, but yeah, just look at him going all the way back. Just completely straight like, you know. But yeah, well, that's the wee one there. Cockbird here. Uh, I have a cockbird here, but this one, this one has been acting a wee bit strange lately. Um, he is very, very thin, um, and I have no clue really what could be up with him. Um, he just doesn't look 
the base, but he doesn't have any canker. I checked his throat. He's all healthy. It's just he's he's been losing a wee bit of weight, but like I mean, I'll show you guys the food that they're getting fed on in a wee bit. Um, but this cock bird. Oh wait, there the cameras. Are a bit. There. So where is he? Not their cock bird there. It's part to this hen. As she's down on eggs again. Uh, the cock bird has been bringing a wee bit of hay in for her to, you know, make and make some nests. But these two are paired up. Um, she, I believe, she's paired up to this cock bird that isn't feeling too well. Um, and then that there is the young bird that was raised by the show racers, and they that that one's mother and father. The mother is over there, sitting on eggs. And then the father is that one there. Um, I'm looking to sell that wee one because I don't like the the way it turned out, but I'll probably end up keeping it for now, and then sell it next year or something. Um, but yeah, lovely pair over here. Very feisty pair as well. The hens, I've noticed they are very, very feisty. And so is the cockbird. Now that's what I like to see. Um, I had a guy that said to me that fan tails are not good parents. And uh, that is definitely not true. Um, fan tails are basically nearly the same as homers or racing pigeons. Now just look at that. Now talking about some of the homers weren't even doing this. That's a very good strong pair there. Um, and they are this year's young one as well. Um, but they have two wee young ones already in here. Um, I don't know which ones they are. But these were bred at, right at the start of the year. Uh, around January time. They were hatched out. And um, they already have their first young ones in here that I bought. You know, I bought the full lot, so yeah. But these two are paired up, and they're making a nest over there, not in the nest, but not in the nesting bowl. So I don't know what's up. But the, these two are very nice as well. And then print cockbird, and then what's in here? Nothing. Right. Uh, over there, I should have. Big red cockbird. Where is he? Oh, big red cockbird and uh, his hen. He's part of that one. No one paired up to the black one yet, so I was thinking about separating out the extra cocks I have, the ones that haven't paired out up. And I'm thinking about putting them over in the all shed, and then they could maybe pair up, and then I would bring them back in here. But not too sure yet. Um. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you guys the food that I'm feeding them on. As you can see, a wee bit in there. Um, what I have to do is come in here and get the rake and uh, rake this all up from the top. Because the bottom of it, like, the bottom is all nice and clean. So there's no ball with it. It's just, it's like that. And I'm going to have to clean the water out a wee bit. Um, right there. It's not looking to... So I'll show you guys the food that I'm feeding them on and then some of the minerals and stuff that I've been giving them. So mineral wise that's their pink minerals. Um, this stuff is for where is it? Oh cox coccidiosis. Um or whatever, you, whatever way you want to um, uh, pronounce it. Um, and then I have my apple cider vinegar, pigeon tonic, a couple of wee marker rings, and then there's a few racing pigeon rings. Um, now this garlicky water, uh, put a wee bit of that on their corn, mix it up, and then there's a wee bit of car uh, garlicky uh, smell and flavour to it probably. Uh, well, I don't know if there's a wee bit of garlicky flavour to it, because uh, I haven't been tasting the corn like but I've been putting a wee bit on it and it's a uh, you can actually smell a nice uh, garlic there's actually a nice garlic smell off it um, I've done it this way 
Uh, this is just a wee bit of water. Um, and then I chopped up a load of, a load of garlic and put it in there. Um, I've done it this way because the garlic liquid that you can buy in like a wee bottle like that is pretty expensive. And um, at the time, I didn't want to spend as much money on a wee bit of garlic thing when I can just do that. Um, and then that there's a wee bit of uh, something against canker or something, but it doesn't work because it's that there stuff um, expired, I think, already. And then what I have in these here stuff are. Wait there, can I open it? <sighs> yep, got it. Black minerals. Um, black minerals in it. I'm gonna have to get a sharpie and start writing. That there's full of uh, black minerals, and then there's, there's nothing in that one. But I'm gonna have to get red minerals for that one there. But yeah, that there's all the wee stuff that I would give them. Um, food wise. This is what they're getting fed on. So this food is breed and wean um, mixed up. Yeah, it's a uh, breed and wean mixed with breeding supreme. Um, so it's basically they're getting two different types of breeding um, because the breed and wean doesn't have corn in it, and I and I want my pigeons to have a wee bit of corn in it. Um, so mix the two together, but it's like I mean, it's actually very good rich stuff for breeding because it's full of these here small seeds. Like there's a wee bit of wheat. I bet you there's a wee bit of barley in it as well. Um, and then these here white bits are safflower seeds or something like that. Um, and then there's some sunflower seeds in it. Um. And then just a whole load of wee beans and peas and all that stuff in it. Very good stuff and the pigeons do enjoy it. And like I mean, I feed them this because this is this is actually like very high protein for them. But I um, don't know what's up with that cardboard, as I said. If anyone knows what could be up with him, could you just please leave it in the comments because he's actually sort of like a favourite to me. Um, and I know with pigeons you're not really well here he is getting a load of minerals just as I was speaking he was maybe a wee bit low on minerals because I didn't have black minerals in with him I only had pink minerals but I was told by my friend that that there shouldn't have been the case not sure well big guy I mean he flies alright and stuff but there's a wee like I mean like he'll just sit like that all day so I don't know don't really know what could be up with him but anyway um, that there's going to be it for today's one um, I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, make sure to leave a comment if you like what, what, what you want to see or what do you want me to talk about with the fan tails what, what are my opinions on fan tail pigeons and stuff like that but as I said, I'll see you guys in the next one.